the good. The bad. The ugly. This is the good, bad, and ugly film review. Sit tight. We got a lot to go over and a little bit of time to do it. This is the Middle Tennessee Blue Raiders versus the Miami Hurricane. The good. All right, here we go. We're going to look at the good first. Here we go. Great spill technique right here, right? By number 90. He's going to spill this ball. These guys are coming to pull. Takes out 70, 79 gets caught in the wash. This ball has to bounce. But watch Keontre Smith come right over the top and Corey Flagg. I wish Flagg would have been just a little tighter because you got James Williams coming down as well. Great run fit right there. Excellent. Now, again, I'm going to talk about this. He gets chipped a little bit by here so he can get outside. But he has to be able to feel this, right? See this motion? Somebody has to communicate that to him. Fight to get over the top so you can cut this quarterback off. But great play, man. Look at Cam Kitchen, man. Feel it. Boom. They run the corner route. Undercuts this ball perfectly for the interception, man. Great job. 10 nothing. We're not in bad shape. Should be 10 nothing the other way. But that's all right. We'll talk about that when we get to the bad and the ugly. Great job. You're going to see something real important here. Watch what he does. He changes the protection. This was big right here by TVD, but it also became a flaw for him later on. He brings this guy in for protection because look how many people they're bringing, right? Can't get everybody. You only got five old linemen, and you got your guy here. I believe that's Skinner sitting in the, in the pocket. So basically, you got a max protection play here. Seven guys blocking to pick up all, pick up all of these guys. Perfect. Great throw. Great timing. Look at this ball is out. He's on his break, right? Bashar Smith is on his break. Drops a dime. That's the TVD. That's the TVD dimes we talking about. Tyler Van dimes. Man, this guy Jafari Harvey is playing lights out, bro. Straight up lights out. He makes this play almost by itself. Watch how aggressive. Boom. Takes on two. Blows him into the hole. Has nowhere to go. Comes off and make this tackle. This is the violent hands you want to see. Look at the violent hands right there. Takes this guy, puts him in the hole, and then comes and make the tackle for loss. I'm telling you, Jafar Harvey, man, is playing at another level, boy. Salute to you, my brother. Third and one. Third and one. Boom. I put this in as a good play because of the vision from Henry Parrish. It's clogged up. He sees that. Let's go. Let's get the first down. But here's the bad deal about this. And this is what has been happening to the Miami Hurricanes. Getting bad breaks. Third and one, right? But guess what? We get a holding penalty right here by Mallory at the point of attack. Watch Will Mallory. Boom, we got him. But he's got his hand outside. That's okay initially. You got to get that thing inside, man. Because as soon as 49 pulls away like he does, now you're holding. Guess what this play becomes now? Now it's third and 11. Now it's third and 11. You went from third and one, first down to third and 11. So I put it as a good play because Henry Parrish had great vision on that play. This play right here is important. I want you guys to check out the formation and I'm going to tell you why that's important later. But I put this in because I think this is TVD's best throw, right? He does a great job throwing these outs. Look at this. Throws it on a line, throws it on a dime. And here's the best part, too. He changes the protection. Look at him. He's checking the protection. He changed it to match up. They're going to bring six. You have six to block. Perfect. Look, everybody has somebody. One, two, three, four, five, six guys in the blocking. Now, some people are going to say, well, coach, why you don't throw it right here underneath the Mallory? I'm going to show you why this is important. And these are the little nuances you talk about when you talk about formations. But this throw right here is why it's in the good. Look at his body mechanics. Look at his footwork. Perfect. Foot is aiming towards the target. Throws that thing on a line. Great job. But here's why you can't do this. 
We're in an unbalanced formation. There's no receiver to this side. You can do this, and we're going to see it later. Unfortunately, Mallory is off the ball. You have to have seven guys on the line of scrimmage, or you can't have five in the in the backfield, right? So this is what happens. One, two, three, four are considered in the backfield, and the quarterback makes five. Therefore, you have six on the line of scrimmage. So Mallory, technically speaking, can't go down the field. So if he threw it to Mallory, it's a legal man downfield. And technically speaking, uh, he can go down the field because he's a receiver, but he can't catch the football. They know that. Look, they don't even pay him any attention. They don't care about that. But we're going to see this later bite us in the butt. We got this penalty because we don't have enough guys on the line of scrimmage as well as the interior guy is covered up, right? All right, here we go. Check this play out. First and 15. Beautiful RPO right here. Watch Will, watch a, a, a TVD's eyeballs. His read right now is right here between his linebacker and his reduction safety. If he comes in, you pull it, and you throw the slant right behind his head. Beautiful play. Beautiful execution, right? This safety was playing out here. I don't know who he is, but great pull right there. Throws a dime. Tyler Van Dimes right now. All right, Jake Garcia's in the game. Third and six and a half minutes left in this game. Down by 21 points. Play action. Look what he does. Throws it, puts it out there perfectly, man. But the best part about it, the protection. Look at the protection. Boom, everybody's sewn up. Everybody's taken care of. Steps up, throws the easy ball. But I want to show you something else that's important because Tyler Van Dyke, when we get to the bad, runs this same exact play, and both of them actually miss this throw. This guy is open, believe it or not, right? And this guy, I mean, you can throw that ball, right, through a great ball. But this guy is key right here later on. Check it out, watch. Should have got it in for the tub, baby, but I ain't mad at you, five. All right. Here's another good play. Jake is back in the game. Look at the protection. Great shape. Everybody has somebody. Pick up and chip. Why did I put this down as a good? He steps into the face of adversity. Your boy right here getting dog walked. Look at seven. He dog walking. I believe that's a scafe. Just dog walking him. But TV, I mean, uh, Jake Garcia steps right into this and throws a dime right there to uh, Mallory, man. That's why that's a good play. Great job. Great delivery of the rock. First and 10, two and a half minutes left in the third. Great throw again, right? This is a confidence throw. But this goes to show me something. This shows me that they are throwing the ball to where it's kind of designed to go and there's no real read progression. Why is this important? Watch right through here. First and 10. He's wide open. Why is this important? Because if you throw it to him, he becomes a blocker and now he only has to make him miss. This ball right here, whether he caught it good or not, is going to be what? Just a catch. That's it. No yak out of this. If you throw this to the Bashard Smith with the kind of wheels and agility he has, he becomes the blocker. Now hopefully he can make him miss an open field, and that could have been a touchdown. Still a good play, good throw, good catch. I see you five. Five all over this tape now, y'all. Five is all over this tape. This is the great kickoff return. This is the spark that we needed to get this thing back. I mean, he goes back. He catches this deal. Hits the gas. Look at this. One move, hit the gas, nobody catching him. And this goes to show me we got team speed. Look at Bashar Smith running. I'm telling you, we got team speed. We just got to put it together, man. Great play right there by Keyshawn Smith. Fourth and 13. This was a huge play right here. Seven minutes left. We down by 21 again. Watch Jake. Protection is good, steps in the pocket, delivers a dime. Now I have to be honest, when I was watching, <laughs> when I was watching this deal, right, I saw the yellow line right here, which was incorrect. This is the first down marker. And when he turned and fell down, I was like, no. 
not realizing this was the first down. We get so used to watching this yellow line. But again, he did get the first down. Excellent pitch and catch between quarterback and wide receiver, man. Big shout out to Redding, man, stepping up today. All right, here we go. First and 10. Again, protection is good. Great job to Skinner. Take what they give you. Let your playmakers play. Put them in conflict. Boom, throws the correct throw. Make a miss. Now, I know they called him out, but there was a pitcher. I don't know who took it. I saw it on Twitter. He was literally inbounds. He was literally inbounds, man. So that's huge right there. But good job for Skinner, man. Now, watch this. I love this. I've been talking about this forever. I never understood being in shotgun. Our quarterback and running back is back here, and we literally have three feet. We have to get three feet. We got to go from this black line to the white line. But we five yards back with the ball. Get the ball. Let this big dude get a dog on a head of steam. Come in here and pile this thing down. And watch some of the movement we get in here. All right? Little pin and pull action. Get up in this deal. I don't necessarily like pinning and pulling on the one. You can get some penetration. I would say just wedge this deal in there. But hey, it works for him. They made it happen. He's one yard inside. Your boy Thad Franklin for the tub, man. Right? Those are the good plays. Now it's time to get into the bad ones. The bad. All right, here we go. We get into the bad plays now. Check this out. This is what I'm talking about. In football, you have to understand where everybody belongs. I don't care if you're a D lineman, a linebacker, or a DB. If you don't play within the integrity of the defense, you put the defense in harm's way. Watch exactly what happens. Third and 11. Here's a prime example. Here's the blitz package. I talked about this before with the bucket of water, right? Sticking your hand down in the bucket of water and the water spilling over. That's what happens. They got James Williams lined up here. Looks like he's coming outside. But what does he do? He comes around and loops. I don't really like the way they run this stunt. He should have took two flash steps and come up underneath. But watch 90. He's so eager to try to get to the quarterback instead of let James do the hard work and you become the mousetrap. You let the quarterback get outside of you. Now you put more stress on the DBs back here because you want to be a GDI. And that's what I call a God dog on individual. I got some other words if you know what I'm saying. But 90 what? Being selfish, trying to get to the quarterback. Instead of, let, instead of letting the play work itself out, he sits right here, shoulders parallel, right on the 45, 16 walks right into your arms. Right? Still was incomplete. I get it. But that could have been a big sack. All right, here we go. Bad. Now, here's the bad part of this play. Y'all ready? We talked about this. This is the same unbalanced formation. We picked it up, but this time Mallory is on the line of scrimmage. There's no eligible receiver on this side. He keeps the running back to this side. Here's the problem with this play. It's first and 10. They already had a box set up. It's four against three. Not only that's four against three, it's actually five because there's no eligible receiver over here. This is what TVD has to understand and Jake Garcia has to understand. They, this is college football. They're smart. They know that he cannot catch the ball. He cannot go downfield. So it's literally only four people that can go out. These three wide receivers and this running back. He is basically the sixth offensive lineman. He means nothing. Okay. So what happens? You got four guys underneath. I mean, four guys over here forming the box. You got five in case anybody want to post it. And if this linebacker wants to play here, you can literally have six guys playing against three. Okay? And then maybe one-on-one -on -one with the running back or he may spy. But let's check it out. So they try to fake the bubble with the go right here. Okay? Here's the problem. They got so many guys. It's not fooling anybody. Yeah, you fooled this guy, but it doesn't matter. Why? Because I got two more guys back here. And if anybody decided to post, look at one. He's not paying Mallory. Any, nobody's paying Mallory any attention. So what did they do? They brought everybody. Now, here's where the chemistry sets in. He throws his ball. I mean, they call pass interference on this. It's tic-tacky for me. I'm a defensive guy. It's a bang-bang play. But here's where you start talking about next-level stuff. Okay? When you start feeling this and reading this, 
And I know this is hard, but this is where the chemistry comes between these two guys. Sit down. Sit down and drill this ball to him. Okay? Drill this ball. See, if he sits in this bucket right here, he's going to have to drill this ball. But that was the play design. Fake the bubble. And then throw the what? The go with the little, they had the post right here and throw the wheel route up the top of the field. But they got too many defenders for this, guys. They got four already on three. They got five. He's waiting on it. And if they didn't have want to blitz them, they didn't have to, but they did. So what did they do? Put six on six. Six on seven, actually. And we still got a guy coming free. Come on, we got to do better than this, Canes. Third and one. We don't get this third and one call right here. Why? Because offensive line not blocking, being aggressive. 70 killed this right here. Alawasum, if I said his name correct, 70. Terrible, bro. Terrible. And you're going to see the end zone cut of this. Matter of fact, let me go and get to the end zone cut. 70. It's third and one, dog. It's the double and come here to the mic backer. When he stunts away, this is day one when you talk about double blocking. If he stunts away from you, he did your job for you. Automatically climb. You're too involved. He stunted away from you. Leave it up to uh, 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 Ja'Kai Clark. Come off and get 34 immediately. Now it's too late. Now Thad has to do what? Put his foot in the ground, make a decision, and try to slide. I hate to say this personally. If I'm Thad, you got to feel this. Know it's third and one. Don't lose your momentum. Run straight through his chest plate, dog. Give him everything you got. Third and one. Once you do that, you lost your momentum, your speed, and your power. Okay? Instinct-wise, what happens? I totally get it, right? Instinctually, you want to avoid defenders. But knowing in your mind the situation... Get behind your pads and blast the life out of this dude. But 70 blows it. And then your boy over here getting his lunch taken as well. Shout out to Coach 30. I see we made the Coach 30 deal. Right here, Scaife. Right? Throws him out the club. They double team. And we don't turn it. We don't pick up the first down. Okay? On third down. Here's another bad play. Let's talk about it. TVD. Great job. I talked about this Jake Garcia, right? Very similar play. Watch it. He throws the ball. This lets me know that guys are not going through the progression or pre-snap reads of this deal. Same exact play, same exact result. Throw it to this guy up the sideline. He's open again, y'all. Look, get the first, second, and eight. He's open. He's open. He is wide open. It's one-on-one -on -one right here, deep ball. The further you go, the percentage goes down. Look at this cat. But you should have been able to see this pre-snap. Why? This is what I talk about when I talk about pre-snap reads. Look at this safety. He's 10 yards or less than 10 yards towards the ball. He may play deep, and that's fine. But you can read him as you, you know where he's going. Read him. Watch this. He comes in the box. You should know right now. You should know because this safety is outside leverage of him. You should know right now he vacated this part of the field. This part of the field is going to be open. This is college football. This is power five football. Come on. This is what I'm talking about. He's open. Open. Still open. Still open. Low percentage throw. And we didn't have to have it. We didn't have to have it, guys. Look at this. 1346 left, second and eight. Look at that. That's a young man. I put this on Twitter. His eyes, he's hurting. He can't catch his rhythm. He is out there drowning. Nine, nine and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Look at him. He's suffering. Just look at his body language. And fortunately, we get the pass interference call on there, which I still think was tic tac -y. I'll take it. I'm a cane. I get it. But look at TVD's body language. He doesn't, it's not that he doesn't care. Look at him. He's trying to figure it out. He's trying to figure, look at him. Like, I just can't catch it, coach. 
All right. Well, we see the, the looks of, of uh, Jake the Snake, baby. 13 in the building. He's got the Ultimate Warrior face paint on. He ready to rock and roll. All right, here we go. Here's another bad play by Jake. Now, let me explain why this is bad. Really, it's not Jake's fault. I put this bad just because Mallory didn't catch it. Okay? Also, I put this down as bad. Look at Scaife getting his lunch taken, dog. Look at this. Mm. 57 ran through him like a hot knife through butter. Look at this. And again, look at Jake the Snake delivering the rock. on it. He, this guy is literally in his face. So this is good for Jake. All right? Bad for Scaife. Look at him delivering this rock, man. No fear. Look at his footwork. Foot is going forward. Drops a dime in there. Got to protect this ball, Mallory. Yeah, I know it was a good shot by them. I get it. But at the end of the day, you want to go to the league, you got to catch those balls, bro. I mean, oh, look at Scaife just getting Peter rolled out this deal. Look at this. Uh. Got to put that away, protect it. I mean, that number 17, whoever that safety is for, for Middle Tennessee, that dude was playing, boy. Uh. Hate to see it. All right, second and 10. Here we go. Why is this a bad play? This is a bad play because of play design. Okay? We got a max protect in this deal. But look at the play design. Now, players mess up too. They may have run the wrong route. I don't know. I don't know what the exact call is from the offense. But look at this. We're going to max protect this deal. Right? Keep 70 in the block. The problem is only three guys and two of the guys are running straight to each other. Two of the guys have run straight to each other. He has nowhere to go with this ball. Nowhere to go. Good thing is he does throw the ball away. That is a good thing. Bad thing is there's nothing to do. Now, what I don't like, he's in trouble. You see, it's not coming out. I hate to say this. I know it's going to sound crazy. This is being a player. Will Mallory, put your foot in the ground and come back and get in his vision. Help him out. Because if he takes off and scrambles and gets out here, he'll see you coming back late. See, this is where players make player moves. Look at this. He's sitting there, Max Protect. He's got a good pocket. Perfect. Watch this. If he decides to take this and extend this play a little bit, if you put your foot in the ground and come straight back to this referee, you get in his vision, you help him out. And look at him getting blasted. Shotgun blast to the chest. Look at this. Mm, knocked him off the screen. Jesus. First and goal, y'all. Bro, look at the penetration. Scaife. Let's start with here. Look at Scaife getting blasted. Number seven had his number. Right? Ja'Kai Clark getting blasted. Look at this. How are we supposed to run the ball in the center getting worked like this? Look. Only thing I'll say, look at 70 on this play. This is the great thing about this. This is how you work him. Look at this. Oh, mm, get some. Coach getting fired up. He worked him out back here. Elijah Arroyo, same thing with you. You got to get the block and stay on it. This ain't chip blocking time. Look, because he gets in on the push. This could have been a touchdown if this guy is not here. We got to work together, guys. Field goal unit, still standing up. Look at us, opening doors. Look at this, opening doors. It's going to come back to bite us on this field goal unit. Watch this, 72. I don't know who that is. Look at him, just opening doors because we're standing up. I'm going to leave that alone. I talked about that enough. All right, here we are, second and five. These are all the bad plays, guys. Second and five. Again, right? Number 90. I don't know who need to fix this. If it's Jason Taylor, Coach Wright, Coach Strong, whoever. Tell them stop being a GDI. A got dog on individual. Look at this. He's not understanding the defense. They're in man defense. Once he gets outside of you, there's nobody. 
Now, look what, look at the dilemma you put him in. He saw this guy, but thank God he didn't see this guy. Stop being an individual, 90. What's 90 name anyway? Find him out. Akeem Mesador. He a transfer. Look, fight it. Stay outside. You can only go inside when you get to the depth of the quarterback. You're not to the depth of the quarterback. This gives him an out. Now you put this young man in a bind. What does he do? Do I abandon my guy to come make the tackle? Or do I stick with him and let you run? Thank God 16 saw him up here. And he skipped it. That's a hard throw. But if he would have saw 24, watch this. See how you get in the guy's vision, Mallory? See, he's in trouble. Get in his vision. If he would have saw him, look at this. You had a blocker and 24 would have been running. Third and five. This right here is atrocious. 438 total yards to our 324. Jesus, help us. Now, a lot of people picked on uh, 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 Corey Flagg. And I'm going to watch the end zone cut of this. And this is where you guys have to understand how football and plays work. Working within the integrity of the defense. Flag is going to show here. He's going to come off. He's going to actually pick this tackle off. Okay. Why? So Mesador can come inside. But watch what Six does. Six doesn't do a great job. Let me see if I can find his doggone name. Daryl Jackson. The, 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 uh, the transfer from Maryland. Watch what he does. He runs right down the middle of the center. And he does what? Give him a way out. This is not. This is not uh, uh, Jafari Harvey's fault. Okay, let's watch the end zone cut of this. Perfect. How this works is he's going to long pop this or stick this across the center's face. Six has to be in the gap that Corey Flagg is in. Okay, Corey Flagg is going to come off and he's going to run here and pick this guy off. So why? So Jafari Harvey can one, two, flash up and come around into this what gap? A gap. So six is going to be here. Jafari Harvey should be here. Flag is going to work here and work his way outside for contain. This is why he did that. Once you do this stunt, you lose the contain. You have to work, fight through him to get to the contain in case they flush him and he gets outside. So guess what? Yeah, Corey Flag may have some, some stuff y'all don't like, but on this play, he did what he was supposed to do. See him scoot over? Now right here, if six comes right here in this gap like he's supposed to, watch this. He's going to come off and try and get flagged. That's exactly what you want. Now he's going to pick the tackle off. He's picking him off because he's in charge of flag. Watch number 70, the guy right here, the guard. He's going to go straight to flag, right? I'm sorry, not Jafari Harvey, number 90. I'm sorry, Mesador. If six is in his gap, Mesador is in his gap, we're in great shape. Perfectly run stunt right here between these two. If six is here, where do you think the quarterback is going to go? Right through here, and it's a tackle. But instead, nope, first down. He almost jammed his knee into the ground trying to get the dog on first. Unbelievable. All right, I want to talk about this. Let's talk about this on the replay. If Jake Garcia is going to play for this team, he has to understand pass protection. You have to know how to put on your bulletproof vest, dog. You can only get shot but so many times before you die. This ain't Call of Duty. You keep spawning. All right, you better learn right here. Look how many people they have. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's showing. Could be a late seven. You only have five, six. What does that mean? If you only have six in the protection and they're showing seven, you are responsible, Jake, for the seventh guy with your throw. And here's what I'm going to say to him. Is it his fault? Maybe not. This offense I've seen so far does not have an outlet in it. This offense that I've seen so far, I'm not saying it doesn't, just what I've seen so far, does not have a release valve in it for pressure. It's like anything else, right? Y'all know the old pressure cooker? You know what I'm talking about cooking them collard greens with them ham hawks in it? That little 
is releasing pressure because if it doesn't have that, that pot will explode. You got to have a release valve in these offenses because if not, he's going to blow up. So right now, there's not enough. You have six against seven. He's the seventh guy, Jake. You are, re you are responsible for him, but maybe the route combinations don't allow it. He got to learn how to make these checks. So for you guys that like Jake Garcia, and I love Jake Garcia too, this is part of playing quarterback at the next level. You better find out where your, your, your uh, uh, pressure valve is because if you don't, you will get blown up. You got to build your bill a bulletproof vest so you don't take these shots. And luckily, this guy pulled up a little bit. Look. Oh, no, this is not the play. We're going to run the next play right after. Look at 70 getting dog walked. Look at him getting dog walked. Look at him standing straight up blocking. Look at him standing straight up blocking, getting dog walked. Jesus. Here we go. Same thing. Pressure valve. These are all bad plays. We ain't even got to the ugly yet. Stick with your boy. We got something. I'm getting animated. Five. We already know we got five blocking. If he stays in, that's six. Well, let's see what they're bringing. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a possible seven. It's third. It's fourth quarter. 338 left in the game. First and 10, and you down by 14 points. They saying, can a young boy make the throw before we can get there on the pressure? We need to have somebody that says hot, hot, hot. There's no hot. When I say pressure valve, these are hot routes. If he comes right here, get it to me now. Throw it to me now. Nobody there. Luckily, this guy pulled up. Look, he hesitated a little bit. Lord knows I thought it was a fumble. Fortunately, his arm was moving forward, but that's because he hesitated a little bit. No indication. And then Jake, guess what? All this has to happen. Look at the safeties. They tell you the story. Look at 17. He's already, look, he's in the middle of the field. He's on the hash. You tell me what coverage this is. Huh? It sure enough ain't covered too because he can't make it to over there. It sure enough ain't quarters. Why it ain't quarters? Because he, if he going to cover him, he can't cover Will Mallory. Look at it. He's lined up over this guy. He's already inside leverage, leaning like he's coming. All these things have to be read. Here's the next thing. Inside leverage. He's inside leverage of him. That means he's not going to have any help inside. All these things have to be taken in account of pre-snap. They bring him. He's stuck. He's on his own. Perfect umbrella. I had to give it to him. But then look at the routes. Look how long the routes are. Look how long the routes are. Nothing here. Nothing here. No, no escape valve. No pressure valve. Come on, man. Look at it. Perfect. Everybody slides. Slide protection. Slide, slide, slide. Perfect. He's got to know this guy's coming. Got to know this guy's coming. It's bad business. Luckily, this dude six held up. Watch this. Watch him hesitate. If he would have just ran through him, that would have been ugly for us. All right, here we go. Second and 10, 328. The next play. This is why these plays are important. Look at He's checking. All right, he's checking. He called him out. Now, again, the pressure valve. This is a young guy doing something. But look how long the routes are. But guess what they do? They come back in. They give him a pressure valve, right? They give him a release. Cool. But look how long these routes are. You only have but so much time. Jake, you got to throw this underneath right here. First downs are really more important than the clock right now. Get the ball. Now it's third and 10. Luckily, 17 didn't pick it off. Here we go. 22. Shoot it to him right now. You're going to see an end zone cut. Mallory was not open. Look at this. He's not open. Sorry. This dude almost yoked that ball, man.
Third and 10. I just let it run. Same situation. Look how long. Look at all this pressure. Build your bulletproof vest, Jake. Hmm? Build your bulletproof vest. Look at the safety. He's telling you I'm over him. Look at this. What kind of safety stand on top of each other, Jake? Hmm? And I'm just saying your name, Jake. I ain't mad at you, baby. We got to coach it up. Look at this. Nobody over here. So you know it's one-on-one. -on -one. You know he coming. One, two, three, four, five, six. If he goes on the route, you only got six on six. But if he comes, it's seven. He's showing it. You got to respect it. Again, look at the ball. This has been a great chance instead of taking it vertical because that's what they scared of the score. Do your route right here. Hit the brakes at the stick. Get him out the way. Run Thad Franklin this way. Get him out the way. Look how long the routes are, guys. Unreal. Doesn't have a chance. You're putting it up there. Give him a chance. All right, here we go. Fourth and 10. Let's look at it. Look how long the routes are. We're not trying to get a first down. Now they playing off. Tells you a big story. So they playing what they call stick cover. Everybody at the sticks. Come on, y'all. Look how long the routes are. Unreal. And I talk about this, right? They playing basically cover three. Where's your read in cover three? Jake, I'm helping you out here, baby. Talk to me. Watch this. Safeties tell the story. Safety tell the story. He's already coming down. You know it's four verticals. What's the weakness in four verticals? I mean, in cover three, four verticals. Where should this ball have gone? On either one of these hashes. Wherever 17 goes, he stays here. You need to throw this ball right now. Right here. Jake is already getting ready to throw this ball, but you're going to throw it to a covered man. He's covered because that's his court. That's his third. He 17 is the one on conflict, guys. Right here. Throw this ball right now. Gee whiz, come on, guy. Ball out. Put it out there. Right here. Put it on him. Look, cover three. Safety coming off of this guy. He didn't have this guy vertical. Come on. That's it for the bad. <laughs> now let's go on and get to the ugly. The ugly. All right. Straight down right ugly, man. First for his first pass of the game. Is this his first? Yeah, first pass of the game, I believe. I don't even know what he's looking at. Like, short side of the field. You know when you get this combination, you're going to get what? Cover two. They're showing you it's cover two. This is not in and out. If this was in and out or some kind of banjo concept, he would have been out here wider. Right? Look at it. He winds out, sits and breaks on it. He's sitting right over the top of anything vertical. If you want to try this, you throw it to the field because you got more real estate here to the bottom of the field. Look. Unreal. Ain't trying to throw it to Mallory. Look how tight these two are. He can play both guys. Why is he not trying to hurry up and get to this? Why am I not? It's the sideline now. Sideline is the 12th defender. This dude did a great job playing this. Great job playing in between them. Jump on it. Let's go. Thank God. Thank God we stopped him and we ended up getting a field goal because it could have been 7 nothing. Second play of the game. I mean, second throw of the game. <laughs> we get a batted ball. I mean, it's just a bad break. You know, I, I, you say what you want to say about it. It's open. That's the throw. Have to be very honest. This is the throw. 
Just unfortunate, man. Tip ball, catch. Take it in for six, man. Straight ugly. All right, let's talk about this play. This is huge right here. Communication. Straight uglies. Watch to Corey Couch. Try and talk to him. Watch him. He checked it, but he checked it late. Miscommunication caused this touchdown. To Corey Couch is playing flat. I don't know what the check was, and I know it wasn't crowd noise because there was only 10 people in the crowd. So here's the problem. Miscommunication. He's playing flat. You got a guy here. Now, I don't know what they thought the coverage was going to be, but let me tell you something. This right here is just downright ugly, man. Downright ugly. And look at this quarterback. Steps in, just puts it up, make a throw. What does he do? He looks the safety off. He know where I'm going. Look, he looks Cam off. Watch him. He's checking it. Look at this. Watch him check it pre-snap. Look, he's looking. Watch this. All right, I got it, baby. You got it? I got it. Watch him look over here. Look, he's looking this way, the whole Cam. He's looking this way, the whole Cam. Boop, turn right back. Let it ride. Woo! Y'all know about them trash power day. That's awful. There it is. Perfect. Quick look off. Comes right back and releases it. Let it go. Straight terrible. And the fact that we can't catch that dude, tell me something. Second and 10. Ugly. What are we doing? This is ugly. Elijah Arroyo, this is on you, brother. I have to say, be honest. Right? You whiffed the block. He can't catch. Look, his eyes are back. You have to make this block. If you make this block, I have enough faith in Rooster. I won't necessarily say it may have been a touchdown, but his dog going to show would have ran him up the field. He put his foot in the ground, and he probably could have got some good yardage outrunning this dude here or made a move on him. Somewhere in there. It wouldn't have been this. And you almost had my dog looking like a flamingo out here, man. Them boys chopping wood. Look at look at this. Look at 53 getting thrown out the club. Look at this. What are you doing? Falling down, Jakai? Jakai? Look. Uh, oh, God. Jesus Louise. All right, here we go. Let's look at the next one. Defense, unreal, bro. Unreal. Second and 10. Let's get it. Little hitch pattern, dog. Nothing special about this pattern. I'm not mad at this. I'm really not mad at this. Right? He gave him a good move in the about broke uh, Corey Flag feet. But here's what I'm mad at. Right here. I see you, Harrison Hunt. He trying. But right here, James, I know I hate to say this to you, dog. Right there, he falls down. Look at him. Who is this falling down? God, dog. It. Right here. Uh, um, Keontre Smith, he falls down. But when James goes in here, it hurt us. You had a guy right there. I'm not mad at you, James. You're trying to make a play, dog. I get it, brother. But now we don't have any foot speed. And Cam Kitchens goes to show right now when you had to top out, you got to go get you. But see this dude helmet right here. Let me tell y'all something. Tyreek Stevenson got some wheels. Look at that boy riding. Look at it. He came from backside corner. So I tell all my people, you want to get recruited? Look where he comes from to make this play. Now, he was jogging right here. Look, he's jogging. I'm going to hold him accountable. He's jogging. He's jogging. Now, now, when he go turn it on, 70, 80 yards, 90 yards later, but that cat can run, boy. He can run. Mm. But that's straight ugly. All right, here we go. Another ugly. Same stunt. Pretty much same uh, uh, deal, right? They call a great play, but we're running up the field. We have to know it's a run play. Look at this. You have to treat it like it's a run play. 
You get a down block here. Down block, right? We run up the field. Well, I have to be honest. We're in man, so there's nobody to spill it to. But you can't run up the field. You got to box this and blow him into 54. You got to blow him into 54. Take all your might and blow this leading guard into 54 and create a pile up. Jafari Harvey, same thing. You got a down block. Right? You got to squeeze this a little tighter. I know you kept the edge. And this is actually a great call against our defense right here. Okay? And to Flag's defense, he gets caught up in You're going to see the end zone cut. He tries to spin out and see it, but it's just a hair too late. Here we go. We're going to get two guys in the same gap. This is what hurts us. Flag and whoever this is. I don't know who, who that is right there. Getting Peter roll. Oh, 90. Mesador. Right? You got two in here. If Mesador is outside here, right, then you got an opportunity. But he gets stuck and washed in there with Corey Flag. See, we got two white helmets in here. They're going to win that battle. No gap integrity. Nobody outside. B gap, A gap, A gap, B gap, C gap. See what I'm saying? Oh, my God. Second and three. Third quarter. They found the fresh fish. They found the fresh fish, right? Jaden Harrison. He waited too late to get out his break. And my man just hit the gas. Un so unfortunate, bro. And I think he's one of the top fastest guys on his team. Great pass rush up here by Mesador. Look at this. Ah, just a hair too slow, but great pass rush. Straight up ugly, bro. You got whoop. And then, no, where's the safety help? Let me go back and help you out. You know why he can't? Formation. This is why I say formation is key. Look at this right here. He has the number three wide receiver. Porter has one. Harris has two. Cam has three. They all, James Williams look like a linebacker playing up underneath it, right? Seven right here is playing over the top. Nothing you can do. Great call. I'm telling you, they came to coach, boy. First and 10, third quarter. What in the God's name? And this is not the first time Franklin did this. I think I got another play or maybe I missed it where he's running into guys. This is just god awful, bro. This is what 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 is this? We the three stooges? First of all, everybody knows you're going in motion. Why? Because you already had the depth of the quarterback here, and you're the only wide receiver to make an unbalanced look. <laughs> so we try to get a good call, but an unbalanced look. So right, we get an extra guy. Let's see if they call it out prior to the snap. They don't even, yep, he just did it. Look at him. Watch his hand. He just did it. Look, watch him. Watch the corner. He off. That means he coming. If he goes, I'm coming. I'm being an extra D lineman. And if we had it, we had a chance. But no. This dude runs straight into the doggone guy. This is the three doggone stooges, man. And I hate to say this. I don't even know if I want to put this on Thad Franklin. I'm looking at the blocking. This is not jet sweep blocking, y'all. This is not jet sweep blocking. I don't know who this is on, but jet sweep blocking, they would have been coming this way to the right, to the bottom of your screen. I don't know who. I, let me go back and look at this again. Hold up. I was pissed with Thad. I'm, I'm, Thad, I may owe you an apology. I'm looking at the blocking. Yeah, this is not jet sweep blocking. Look, that's not jet sweep blocking. Because guess who he would have won a guy? He would have won a guy 41. He stalked blocking this guy. Or well, maybe the receivers are stalked blocking. This is ugly. Straight terrible play, dog. I don't know what's going on. Can't nobody figure it out, I guess. I, I don't know, man. 
ridiculous. Ah, fourth and goal. No, let's not get on the center. No, let's not do that. We scored on it, though. We got on the center. Fourth and goal. Here, back to what I'm talking about. This is why I know there's not a progression in this deal. Look at Jake's eyes. He's looking straight at Arroyo. He misses this because he doesn't have a pre-snap count. This guy has Arroyo. He did an excellent job playing between the both of them. Okay? Watch this. He's playing Arroyo. Plays Arroyo. If Jake sees this right now and throws this, it's touchdown. It's touchdown. But he comes off and he plays it beautifully. I have to be honest with you, man. That kid played this, man. And now people say, oh, why he didn't throw it? No, because he had pressure. And I'm going to show you the end zone cut of this deal. All right, here we go. Watch this. In the blocking scheme, when you play action, especially down here, use Thad Franklin as your blocker. Even though you're play action to him, watch Thad Franklin. He's going to get the ball and go in here. Think like you're getting the ball and become the extra blocker over here. Become the extra blocker over here. Watch. Watch. Because pre-snap read tells you this. Look at the numbers. One is only one DB. He's got to respect it. He's got to respect it. Right? If he looks at Mallory right now, it's touchdown. Jake is looking for Arroyo. This is touchdown. But if Thad comes in here, and I'm just, I'm being real nitpicky, real coachy right now. If Thad comes, things like he gets the ball and runs straight into this dude, so he tackles him, it eliminates him. Watch, he sees it, turns on to Jake. Now you got two guys on Jake. Here's the best part about it. If he goes into that tackle, this dude ain't Moses. He's running on air. Jake could potentially have pulled this down and ran it in. That's being super coachy. I know. Save it. I get it. Oh, here we go. Better view. Look at this view. See what I mean? If Thad runs right into this dude as if he got the ball, has the ball, now he could have double clutched that deal or threw it or whatever the case may be. He saw it late. He saw it late. Still was a great throw. I have to be honest with you. Golly. He saw it and turned late. Look at this throw. His body's all out of whack. This ball is already headed this way. Little high. If it was on the ground, where his feet were on the ground, maybe maybe Mallory could have fought and put the ball out there, whatever the case may be. Even if Mallory catches this ball, he could stick his arm over the deal, but that's being a player player. Not just a player, but a player player. Come on, y'all. God the mighty. Straight ugly right here. 16 is uh, Malik Curtis, if I'm not mistaken. Just outside release and hit him with the go ball. Outside release, hit him with the go ball. You got one safety, middle of the field. James can't affect that throw unless he straight guesses, right? Looking at this pre-snap, look at that pre-snap. He got pressed. Stevenson is pressed bail. He's already got his shoulders turned. He know he's pressed. Fish, fish. What does that mean? 50-50 ball, young boy. Put it up on him. Let's welcome him to college football. Golly, great throw. Now, what does he do wrong? He lunges, and right there, he doesn't recover and get in his hip. But I have to give him some credit on this. He never looked back. He tried to fight and use his hand and fight through the, through the receiver for the ball and just missed, man. But God the mighty, bro. Watch this. Put it up there. See how he fights for it, but great throw. Outside shoulder. Nice touch. Tough, man. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Take it for what it's worth. Coach Cristobal and his staff got a lot to do. Middle Tennessee came in, and just like their coach said, they kicked our butt.
And they did, definitely. It was a butt kicking. There's a lot of things that need to be fixed. And hopefully and knowingly, they will fix it. Because it's still hashtag in Mario we trust. Don't give up on them, guys. Trust us. Stay with it. Stay with the process. All right? Let's make it happen. So with all that being said, stay tuned to next week for another episode of The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Coach, I'll holler at you. Peace.